Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Hey, Calvary. Today I'm going to ask permission to speak to the men in our audience. Now, ladies, you can listen in because if you're single, you should be looking for a man like I'm going to describe right now. And if you're a mom and you have sons, you should be seeking to raise those sons to be like the man I'm going to describe right now. Because in this passage in Philippians, we are introduced to a man named Epaphroditus. So guys, you might not like his name, you might not want his name, but you want to be like him. Listen to how Paul describes Epaphroditus. 2 Timothy 2.25 I have thought it necessary to send to you Epaphroditus, my brother and fellow worker and fellow soldier, and your messenger and minister to my need. For he has been longing for you all and has been distressed because you heard that he was ill. Indeed, he was ill, near to death. But God had mercy on him, and not only on him, but also on me, lest I should have sorrow upon sorrow. I am the more eager to send him, therefore, that you may rejoice at seeing him again, and that I may be less anxious. So receive him in the Lord with all joy and honor such men. For he nearly died for the work of Christ, risking his life to complete what was lacking in your service to me. So in Epaphroditus, I find six things that are the marker of a Christian man. So let's just look at them really quick. Number one, he's described as a brother. So this means he cares for his fellow Christians with true affection. He cares and he loves and he walks alongside of his brother Paul and other Christians. Next, Epaphroditus is described as a worker. So that means that he was willing to do what needed to be done to get the job done. He was a worker. Men, are you workers? Are you willing to do the things that need to be done in order to get the job done? Not to give up, not to be lazy, but to be a worker. Next, it says that he is a soldier. So a soldier is someone who's willing to fight for the mission. So the spiritual life that we have in Christ, it's a battle. There's hard things that we have to do. There's hard things that we have to fight for. Epaphroditus is described as a soldier willing to fight for the mission. Next, it describes him as a messenger. So men, are you a messenger? Are you carrying the word of truth forward? Are you carrying God's word forward? Whether you're being a messenger in your own family or you're being a messenger in the workplace, you're being a messenger out in the community or in the church, you're to be carrying God's message forward. It also says that Epaphroditus was a minister. So that means he was willing to care for the spiritual and the physical needs of his people, of the congregation, of Paul. So my encouragement to you men is to be ministers, to look for the spiritual needs around you and to seek to fill that need, to look for the physical needs around you and to care for those people that have those needs. And then finally, what we see manhood described here as, is as self-sacrifice. Self-sacrifice. Men, we need to be willing to lay aside our comfort, our wishes, and even our own lives for the sake of our families, for the sake of our community, but most importantly, for the sake of Jesus Christ and his message and his mission. So men, this is a high call that we're given here by Epaphroditus. He's a great example. I hope that you will rise to that challenge. And ladies, I hope you will find men and help to inspire men to be this type of guy. You guys have a blessed day.